Hello wrestling fans and welcome back to Tweet Wrestling, the world of retro wrestling. Yes, here we are at Mania Mail Day episode number 6, but before then I like to wish and hope and pray for Scott Hall, Razor Ramon. Sadly, he's going through a horrific time right now, I believe he's suffered three heart attacks, he's on life support machine and by reading what I've read on the internet it's not looking good, so fingers crossed, let's hope he pulls through. Absolute legend of the business. All the best, Scott Hall. Yeah, so quite quite a horrific time for the bad guy there. All the best, Scott. Pull through if you can, my friend. Thinking of you and the family. Anyway, what can we say? Here we are then at Tweet Wrestling, Episode 6, Mania Mail Day. Like, share and subscribe and let's get into the video. Come on. This first packet I picked up off eBay and it's cost me £12. You'll be amazed to see that this is a PSA 10 and I've picked it up for a bargain price. The wrapping alone is worth that, let's see who it is. Yes, the First Lady of Wrestling, Miss Elizabeth. From 2017, Topps WWE, Gem Mint 10. Miss Elizabeth, the First Lady of Wrestling. And to be honest with you, I've picked this up because it's a bargain price. I don't have to trade it. I don't have to keep it. It's one of them. Maybe someone is willing out there to swap me for a Hogan 82 All-Stars. What do you think, wrestling fans? Next up, we go back to 1992 with my favourite era of wrestling. So, is it WWF or is it WCW? Let's find out. Yes, it's them fantastic WCW Euroflash stickers. And this is, I believe, a rookie sticker of Stone Cold Steve Austin. But as you can see, it's not just one sticker, it is two. They're not quite well aligned, but for the price I paid, very cheap. And to be honest with you, Austin's coming back to WrestleMania this year. It's a legend of the business. He's only gonna go one way. Pure solid investment. I'll be keeping hold of these. And um, why not? Stone Cold Steve Austin or Stunning Steve Austin. You can just see the sticker. Great condition. Sticker number 89. And there is a few from the WCW Euroflash sticker album. And these are two that I've picked up. The other sticker, as you can see there, Stunning Steve Austin in the photograph. And it's sticker number 203. So look out for them wrestling fans, pick them up whilst they are affordable. It's been bargains galore at Tweet Wrestling this month, and believe it or not, I won the auction at 99 pence. You will be amazed at what is inside. I'll just fast forward on the video so we can see what we have. Hulk Hogan. 99 pence. Come on, these are all 99 pence. Macho Man Randy Savage. Okay, add the two pound postage. Ultimate Warrior. Who else have we got? The Repo Man. Or Repo Dan, as he is known in the HWO. British Bulldog. Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Absolute. You know what? These don't come along these auctions often, so I'm very happy with this. Like the Mountie. Brett the Hitman Hart. The next card up is High Energy, Rock, Rocket Owen Hart, look at that. And the last one is a Natural Disasters. I hope you're picking up these cards because I'm doing a video on them next. Classic series and it's a great investment. Anyway, let's carry on and see what we've got. This lot I've purchased from my good old friend Mike over at Wrestling Cards Worldwide. The link is in the description. 
and to be honest with you I had to pick these up there's two that I really wanted and there's a modern one to complete a set so a big shout out to Mike he's doing a great job check out his wrestling card website and stickers for that you're in for a bargain definitely check it out wrestling fans one of my all-time favorites the one two three kid very fitting as well to have this as Razor is going through a horrific time they were great friends and think back to that great match in 1993 on Monday Night Raw there's a second one there of the one two three kid I'm completing off a modern set Papa Shango another great legend from that time and thanks Mike for that thanks and thanks for sending them out well packed super fast check him out This one is a nice little eBay pickup, and it's from that same era. Think one, two, three, kid, nineteen ninety three, WWF. And without spoiling it, you could see now who it is. No clowning around. <laughs> no hints for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's Doink the Clown, everyone. And to be honest with you, I love picking Doink the Clown stuff up because, to be honest with you, there's not an awful lot of it out there. Again, very cheap, very affordable auction. And that's a form of card and sticker collecting. It doesn't have to be expensive, you know. You don't have to go and smash the bank where you're picking up the Hogan 82 All-Stars or an Andre the Giant. Do it for fun. That's what I do. From the 1994 sticker album, Don't the Clown, what more do you need? For my next video, there's some controversy to this because... I'm unsure if these two are legit or fake. The first one I picked up for a pound and I've heard these key rings, what you'll see now, are actually fakes, but I'm unsure. I haven't seen any before. And again, it's only cost me a pound. So it's a 1991 classic wrestling cards, a classic games cards. And it's Hacksaw Jim Duggan wrestling Rick Martel. So do you have any of these wrestling fans? Have you seen them? Are they fake? Is that just a print? I don't know. It's got that old feel to it, but maybe that just comes of age. I've got plenty of other mini cards which I think are legit, but this one, it raises my eyebrow. So what do you think, fans? Yes or no? And for my last perfect pickup, it's got, well, it's got some controversial decidings towards this. I message Rob England over on Twitter for his opinion. And he's a bit sceptical. So you can see it's a signed Mr. Perfect 1991 wrestling card. I paid £11.50 for this one. I did check up autographs of Mr. Perfect on Google. It's a very good copy if it is a fake. But obviously I'd want it to be legit. What's your thoughts wrestling fans? Yes or no? Is it fake or is it real? That's my question. Again, I paid £11.50. I need to get it appraised, that's for sure. But somehow, somewhere, I'll have to send it off. And hopefully, they give it the green tick and say it's legit. So that's pretty much all of my pickups this month. I've got a few already coming in for the next video. So stay tuned for that one. No other news really, Wrestlemania coming up, so that should be a good fun event I'm sure. Well, Hall of Fame will, that's what we like. So don't forget, like, share and subscribe to Tweet Wrestling. All the best wrestling fans and all the best to the bad guy, Razor Ramon. Goodbye for now.